Okay, so let's take a look at how you can create a Pong game inside GDevelop. So what I will do is I will download GDevelop and then create a new project. Meanwhile, you can also go to Open Game Art and download the Pong game graphics. Most likely it will be free and no issues on license. So what we'll do is we will open GDevelop 5 and here I already have empty project. So what I will do is I will add some sprites that I have downloaded from Open Game Art. So first I would like to add let's say left pad of Pong game. Let's add animation where we have to add pad one. Right? Click OK. Apply. Then we will add another sprite which is right pad. Add animation then pad number two okay click okay now click on apply now you can also add some background color to your scene so let's set it scene properties set your scene background to something like this okay now what we'll do is we'll add left and right pad here make sure to choose the coordinates so both of them look equal from the left hand and right hand wall okay now next thing save this if we preview this it should look something like this okay if it's too much bright then what we can do here is go ahead scene properties change this to some mild color Right. click OK save this let's run now it looks a bit more flashy if your screen is on brightness but that's okay we'll go with this now what we'll do is we will add the ball as well okay so let's add sprite add ball add animation Notice that ball here is a bit square shaped, so that's okay for now. Okay, we will add it down here as well, right? So what we'll do is we will add event for left and right part. So go to main events, add condition. Let's say left pad first, other conditions, then keyboard. If key pressed set it to let's say w and click on ok now what to do if w is pressed is we want it to move in y position where we subtract with value plus 5 right okay now there is one more condition i would like to add left pad other conditions keyboard key pressed key pressed is s click ok add action left pad then y position of object choose an operator which is subtract okay let's check if we already added okay subtract is already there so what we'll do is y position add and then plus 5 Okay, save this and let's test it out. Okay, here you can see our left pad now moves left and right. Now, next thing we will do is with up and down. So, it may be a bit tricky. So, add for right, which is condition, keyboard, key pressed. And we have to choose up okay and let's add a right pad action to y position object which is subtract then plus five okay save this next we will add again for keyboard key pressed and here we have to choose down right 
click OK. Now let's add my position of object set to plus 5. Okay. Now click OK and save. Right. Now let's preview. And if I do up and down, I can move this. Okay, you can change the value if you want. Right. So what we have left here is this ball that needs to randomly move to right or left. Okay. So we'll pick one path for say right and make it to bounce from this top walls only and it can go through left or right walls.